coach Eric Tinkler says he will continue in his role despite the club's failure to win the CAF Confederation Cup. Pirates look set to compete in Africa again next year after finishing as runners-up in this year's competition. But Tinkler's immediate task will be to turn the fortunes of the team around on the domestic front after a disastrous start to the season. The team touched down earlier today after losing 2-1 on aggregate to Tunisian club Etoile du Sahel in Sousse on Sunday. This was the club's second continental final in three years, finishing as runners-up on both occasions. Under Tinkler, the club was eliminated in the first round of the MTN 8. They lost to arch-rival Kaiser Chiefs in the semi-final of the Telkom knockout before Sunday's disappointment. I've never given up anything in my life and I'll never do that. I'm not going to start now. You know, that's, that's just part of my nature. I've never quit. I'm, I'm not a quitter. I will continue until I'm told otherwise. The fans are divided. Honestly, I think that we need a change in coaching department. They went all the way to the finals. So they might not have won it, but we're still proud of them. They did their best. Win, draw or lose, Paganiya for life. No, I, I, I don't think so. I think we, we need somebody who is going to be good in, in tactical. With a trial, having qualified for next year's CAF Champions League, after finishing second in the Tunisian Professional League, this could open doors for Pirates. We still stand a chance of actually playing in the Confederations Cup again next season, even maybe the, the, the Champions League. So we're waiting to hear what, what will happen there. But, you know, we're still in this competition again next season, so we need to build on that. This means South Africa could have as many as five teams competing in CAF competitions next year. Sfeso Ramara, SABC News, OR Tambo International Airport.